Hey guys, I am here today to tell you about and show you how light mixes, how different colors of light mix together to form white light. And it's kind of cool. I've um, drawn a diagram here. Okay, so we learn in our class that there are primary colors and those primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. So the primary colors of light are red, green, and blue. When you mix all of these colors together, you're going to get white lights. You can see the, the, the three colors overlapping are going to give us a white light in the center. When we combine the red and the green, we're going to get yellow, which is, seems really weird. And that's actually the way it works. Then we have red and blue. When we combine them, we're going to get magenta, which kind of makes sense. It's kind of like a purpley color, but it's a purplish pink color. And then when we mix the green and the blue together, we're going to get a color called cyan, which also kind of makes sense. It's kind of like a blue-green color, but it's more of a, an aqua color. So this is the only weird one to remember, and I just remember it just with the stoplight. But now I want to show you this happening in actuality, so you're not thinking that I'm lying here with my diagram. <laughs> three distinct colors. You'll see that when I take the red and the blue and I mix those two colors together, I'm going to get magenta. It's kind of a pinkish um, purplish color. Now when I take the um, green and the blue and I mix those two colors together, you're going to see that you have cyan. Okay, and that's like an aqua color. All right. And then when I take the red and the green colors of light and I mix them together, you see how it turns yellow. And then if we mix all the colors of light together, we have white light. Okay, so then things look somewhat natural when we're, uh, see my hand looks somewhat natural. The color of my hand looks normal. Now I'm going to separate these colors out again and see what happens when we look at some different objects. Here we have a marker, an Expo marker. If we hold it over here, it looks like it's probably green. If we hold it over here in the red light, all of a sudden it looks black. If we hold it over in the blue light, not really sure what color that is. If we mix the colors together, Okay, if we combine all the colors together, so now we'll take that same marker and we'll hold it here and we're going to see that it is a green marker. So again, you saw how dramatic it was with just the red um, or just the blue. Okay, so with all the colors together, you can see that the green marker means that all the colors are shining on it and it's reflecting the green. The white part is reflecting all the colors and um, the green part is reflecting only the green, so that's why it looks green. It's absorbing all the blue light and absorbing all the red light. If we hold the red up here, move the other colors down, you can see that it is, in fact, absorbing all of the red light. It is, in fact, absorbing all of the blue light. Next item I have to show you is a jacket, and let's see what the jacket looks like. So, the jacket, if you hold it in front of this light here, not really sure. It looks kind of like a black jacket, maybe. Um, if I hold it over here, again, it's not. It's difficult to see what color it is. It looks maybe black. If I hold it over in front of the blue light, it looks a little bit blue. So then, let's see what happens when we put that jacket um, in front of all the colors of light. Okay. Here we see that it is a, it's a blue jacket. Our next item is a folder. I put the folder over here. Um, it's not really clear what color the folder is. If I put the folder over here, it clearly looks red. If I put it in front of the blue light, it's, yeah, it's not really clear what color that is. But if I put all the colors together to get the white light, I put it here and you can see that it's clearly a red folder. So again, if I remove, the red light, all of a sudden you can't see because it's absorbing all of the green and the blue light. 
it only reflects the red. So this is kind of dramatic. Okay, you remove, remove the red light, it's absorbing all the other colors. Okay, it's absorbing the green, it's absorbing the blue. Okay, it's, a, it's reflecting the red. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm totally blinded by the light, um, but I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this demonstration. This is one of my favorite ones. I really wanted to do this one in class, have you come up with the different colors that you're wearing and show you. But I hope this was good enough. Um, enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you next time. <laughs> and if you want to see what my dog looks like, I'm a little bit scared, but... <laughs> <laughs> Scoot in more. Look at that cute baby doggo! Hi, Look Nico. at him! Hi! <laughs> Hi, physics students. Mrs. Heinzer here. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Can whoever's playing the kazoo cut that out? Mm -hmm. Eat yourself.